Got an S400? Let's find out how the DPS Terminator fits on your 6.7 Cummins. This is the stock 6.7 Cummins setup. The stock VGT Turbo and the stock one-piece exhaust manifold with a T4i flange. This is the stock VGT actuator with a turbo. If this goes out, well, not if, when these go out, you're gonna want more performance. And this, all of this is what you're gonna to have to replace. With the stock cold set turbo, you'll see it comes with a 90 degree elbow out to your intercooler. You have a point with, for your stock air intake. The turbo mounting flange is a T4i and then a four inch V-band clamp to the exhaust elbow. To replace this turbo, you have to match up all four of those points. So the problem with that, the standard S400 comes with a straight outlet compressor cover. So you'll see here, the straight outlet versus the stock 90 degree elbow, it doesn't line up with your intercooler piping. It has a much larger air intake. And then with the complete S400 turbo, you'll see over here, it comes with a T4 turbo flange. So that is one of the main reasons guys go with the second gen swap. But to get everything to line up, you need new piping. That means more parts, it's more expensive, and additional installation time. Here at Diesel Power Source, we go with a third gen swap kit, which is a turbo manifold and some specialized parts. Particularly, the S400 race cover that has the 90 degree elbow that goes out and lines up with your intercooler. We have the air intake for your stock, which we use an adapter that'll plug right into your stock air intake. With that, our manifold, remember the stock manifold is a T4i. We use a T4 high flow exhaust manifold to get that to line up. By using the T4 manifold flange, we line up with a T4 turbo flange on the S400. And then with a four inch exhaust outlet, we V-band clamp to the factory exhaust elbow. So if you need to, or want to replace your stock whole set VGT turbo, go with our third gen swap kit, the easy solution. It also allows you to use an S400 DPS Terminator with exhaust braking. Let's see how that looks mounted up. So for our third gen swap kit, you'll be removing the turbo and the manifold. Disconnect everything with the turbo. So now you'll install the DPS T4 high flow exhaust manifold, new gaskets. You'll then install the new T4 turbo gasket. And then you get to install the T4 S400 turbinator with exhaust braking. Voila, the DPS third gen swap kit T4 turbinator VGT with exhaust braking installed. In the kit, it'll come with a coupler out to your intercooler to line up, a coupler for the air intake, Obviously, T4 flange to match up with our high flow exhaust manifold. The V-band clamp right to your factory cast elbow. It comes with some water coolant block offs if you need to use them. It also comes with an oil drain. The DPS third gen swap kit S400. For those of you that already have a second gen swap, you'll have a second gen style manifold with a T4 and either a low mount or this will be inverted for a high mount. And then you'll have a standard S400 turbo with a straight outlet. Here's the typical S400 T4 second gen swap setup. We are now gonna show you how to turn your S400 into a VGT turbo. Here is the DPS Turbinator VGT electronic version, housing only. We're gonna remove your exhaust housing and replace it with a Turbinator. Voila, you now have an S400 VGT with exhaust braking or you can do a mechanical version. So now we've replaced the standard exhaust housing and replaced it with the DPS Terminator housing. So now all we have to do is slide in the center section of your S400 turbo. So here we're gonna slide in the center section, careful not to damage the fins. You have just turned your S400 turbo into a VGT with exhaust braking. So now you have the third gen swap option or a second gen option. It's gonna better your spool up by up to 600 RPMs better EGTs, cleaner, better drivability. Give us a call. 